Mew here with a top 10 video games list. This can be games from different consoles and stuff that I've played and stuff that I've actually watched friends play. So here we go. Number 10, we've got SCP Containment Breach. SCPs stand for Secure, Contain, Protect. Basically there's a bunch of them with different sort of skills and in this we have to try and survive them and yeah collect a few different things as we go along the way and yeah try and not get caught by the SCPs and whatnot. There is some interesting SCPs like yeah. But yeah. If you want to learn more about them, I recommend playing the game. Anyways, onwards to number nine. We have Portal. We have a couple of portal guns, and one is blue, one is orange. And we have GLaDOS, which is a so that thing trying to get you to do tests, and is, ends up so that you're trying to escape the facility. So yeah used to watch my dad play that one quite a bit and it was interesting to watch and it's got me one of an interesting quote from it so the thing was thank you for helping me help you help yourself and that quote basically is good to live by too so that's why it's number nine on the list <laughs> number eight is a chill game called minecraft basically it's a block game sort of thing you've tools you can craft you can craft many different things you can go in survival mode try and survive against creepers endermen stuff like that and build houses build different things basically lots of different things you can do in that it's the thing nice little chill game number eight which is why it's there on the list number seven ratchet and clank basically it's about Ratchet, who is one of the like handymen, so that he's sort of like a handyman, so they're working on ships and stuff. And he comes into contact with Clank and ends up sort of navigating the universe, sort of thing, planet to planet, sort of trying to defend, uh, like, defend it, sort of thing. Yeah, various different sort of things you get bolts sort of thing as the coins and stuff interesting little slingshot thing and yeah very interesting game came out on the ps2 sort of thing and they remade it and they even made it into a movie and stuff which was all right sort of thing which is why i've got it as number seven on the list number six we have nino cooney this is a interesting little game. It goes between two worlds, sort of thing. One, both worlds are connected. Like one person in one world could be connected to another person. If one thing happens to one person, it can affect the other person in the other world, sort of thing. And there's these special people who can travel between special people who can travel between two. The two worlds sort of thing. And yeah. Fun little character in the game is Mr. Drippy. I like like Mr. Drippy and stuff as well, which is why that's number six on the list. Number five, we have Near Automata. I had another friend play this one. They had 9S and 2B working together, sort of navigating stuff and trying to figure out what happened to everything and yeah it was a very interesting thing you can make decisions of what happened um everything trying to i think destroy robots in that one i think it was like the some sort of robot-y thing yeah and yeah that was that one there which is why that was number five on the list we have number four, which was a sequel to the game, 
but it's set before Nier Automata, which is Nier Replicant. Yeah, this is where you have your main character and you have a sister in this as well, and basically you have to fight off shades as well. There's also a few other little main characters in there and sort of things, stuff like that. Similar story structure to your automata, you're sort of deciding your own paths and stuff and yeah, fighting the shades, like I said. It's a very interesting sort of concept, different endings and stuff with those two there, which is why I got that as number four on the list. Number three is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duelist of the Roses. I really enjoyed my Yu-Gi-Oh! games sort of thing, but Duelist of the Roses is slightly different. Instead of like traditional card game variant sort of thing, you can still act you can still sort of like play cards wise, but you also have a deck master which has a ability or something, and it's also what takes you, which has your life points sort of thing. If the deck master falls, you lose and whatever. Yeah, a while since I played that, and yeah, which is why that was number three on my list. Number two is a game called 12 Minutes. One of my other mates played this as well. And every 12 minutes, it would reset. You, uh, it's you, and it's like you're with a wife or something, and there's also a detective and stuff, and every 12 minutes it resets, and you basically have the knowledge of the previous 12 minutes, and... You had to try and figure out what's going on and everything. Yeah, that's a very interesting game. Yeah, and number one is Pokemon Red. This game is one of the first games I remember playing on the Game Boy, and it led my love into the Pokemon thing, and it was also carried other thing. First 151 Pokemon were in that game, and... That was very intriguing sort of eight bit sort of thing. I can still hear the music now in my head. Yeah, it's very sort of like cool. What's your favourite game? Feel free to post that in the comments sort of thing. Until then, Mew signing out.